and as a dress, you need to support me through the thick and the thin. Burberry windbreaker. But that windbreaker, the wind is breaking you. You're cold. Why buy a jacket for 2,000 pounds and the ice has hit your chest? Like Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. It's been a while. I've been away, enjoying the sunshine, living my millionaire lifestyle, darlings. Living that millionaire lifestyle. <laughs> no, guys, not really. I have been... On a little holiday with the family, enjoying myself. But your girl is back. And yes, today, you saw it right. I'm gonna share with you all the clothing that I have bought as a millionaire. Millionaire. And before you think I'm about to do a humble brag, it kind of is a bit of a humble brag, I can't even lie. I wanted to do something that was really real and really transparent. If you guys don't know, I did a video on how I've made over a million dollars on YouTube over the last 10 years that I've been creating content. And I thought I would also give you an alternative realistic view on how I might spend some of the money that I've made on clothing and fashion. And as someone who is in that category, how I would actually spend my money. And I feel like on the internet, there's this idea of everyone showing you like this really glamorous, really expensive lifestyle. And again, your girl is part of it. She's here. She loves a bougie, bougie piece of something that she can shake her girls to. Yes, but also there has to be an alternative perspective. And this idea that once someone reaches success or has money that they go ahead and spend all their money on Louis, Gucci, Prada, designer head to toe, and then get a Lamborghini on top of it is very, 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 very unrealistic. And anybody who's made a lot of money quite quickly and does that, they're gonna lose it really quickly as well. I'll tell you now, I would probably be the cheapest millionaire you're gonna find in the world, people. You're going fine in the world because I still like a five pound sale item. You'll find me in TK Maxx, maybe in Dior. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you some of the clothing that I have bought as a millionaire. And if this is not the kind of video you want to watch, then just, just, just come back later. Come back later. Let's get into this video. Millionaire, love it tougher than Nigerian. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I wanted to share with you as a millionaire, okay, I'm gonna stop making that reference because it's a bit cringe, I can't even lie. Blazer, blazer, yes. Do you know what? I bought this blazer like three years ago when I was not hitting that status. This is a Balmain blazer. It has been through the what's Currently it doesn't fit because I'm about 10 pounds heavier, but that's, but that, The goal, the goal is we'll get back into this. The goal is we'll get back into this. Our main blazer has been an essential because it always makes me look fantastic and snatched and put together and like I mean business. But I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. Doesn't need to be a brow main blazer. I very rarely wear this blazer, but I wear blazers all the time. I have got a huge collection of blazers and I find that they're the, the clothing item that I feel the most confident and the most strongest in. I feel like I can wear a blazer with a shirt, I can wear a blazer with a polo neck, I can wear a black blazer, a green blazer, a yellow blazer, whatever color blazer, a pattern blazer. And when I wear it, I always feel really strong and really well put together. So if you're someone who wants to have that millionaire status look, going for a fantastically extra or fantastically well made blazer is the way to go. Honestly, I feel like when it comes to putting outfits together, this is what you need. I have got a whole cupboard. Hold on, let me even show you. And let me show you the reality. I've got I've got leggings on right now, hold on. All of these are blazers. You see this? A blazer from Mango. A blazer from Berry. An luminous yellow linen blazer that will get worn again this spring. Look at this. Look at this blazer. Gorgeous. From Berry as well. Very similar to my Balmain. A thousand pounds. 30 pounds. This just shows you don't need to be a millionaire to look put together. You just need to pick the right style. And for me, blazers are absolutely essential in my millionaire wardrobe. I'm a millionaire. Next up, it is a good, good coat. I live in England, clearly it's cold, it's rainy. If I actually turn the camera around for you to see the tears that are falling from the sky right now, you'll know why most of us talk about the weather regularly. It's not pretty. So a good coat is something that is life and game changing. And yes, I wanna show you guys 
a fur coat no i do not wear real fur even if i was a multi 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 millionaire there's no need necessarily for a faux coat in 2020 there are so many great options that have that same luxurious vibe and effect Guys, without the torture, let's not do that. It's not that necessary in 2020. Look at this. A good old bougie motherfucking curl is a good idea. I love this. This is from a brand called Amo Couture and they do really, really nice faux furs. Everything on their website is like faux fur, no real furs or anything like that. Um, but this jacket, is so fabulous and it's even got the little steps on the inside which i think is a really a good look and really nice and i feel like a faux fur coat gives a really nice luxurious bougie millionaire vibe but also keeps you hella warm but i found that a good coat is an investment and also the thing is the balance between stylish and warm because you can get coats that look very nice oh i bought the new burberry windbreaker but that windbreaker, the wind is breaking you. You're cold. Why buy a jacket for £2,000 and the ice has hit your chest and you've got a chest cold because of it? Laryngitis entered the chat because you were cold. Your chest was exposed, as my mum would say. Your kidneys are cold. It's not worth it, okay? Getting a nice, warm, padded jacket will change the game or a lovely fur one like this. Oh, and oh, let me show you my favourite coat that I've recently bought. It's from Misguided, but it keeps me hella warm even millionaires need to stay warm people they need to stay warm this jacket i recently purchased from misguided 60 quid 60 quid from the day i got it i wore it every day and that is when you know you have a good purchase this jacket here it's got the like inner layer that is fleece with a hood and then the puffer is so puffer and warm zip zip Bob's your uncle. I've been walking and I don't walk because I don't like the cold, but I've been walking because I have that jacket to set my life on fire. Okay, so let us talk about bags. This is the only one thing that I will genuinely say is worth spending the money on. Let me, let me look around the room. I don't have that many non-designer bags. So I don't really buy too many bags from the high street. Oh, hold on. Take it back, take it back. I don't have a lot of bags from the high street, but I do have bags from the high street that I absolutely love. Let's talk about it. So yes, as a millionaire, and I'm gonna keep doing this, sorry, because I'm cringing at the thought of being that person. I like a designer bag, I cannot lie. The majority of my bags here are designer. I've got the Louis, I still got the Gucci. I also have the Dior, and I have a Chanel. And I'll tell you guys that those of my vices. I can't sit here and say, you know, just get an alternative, cheaper on the high street, no, 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 it can't be done, Look, can't be done, but I haven't really done it um, that much myself. I will say that that is my main vice. I like to buy the designer bags because you can actually see them and wear them and they last forever. I think you guys who have watched me for long enough probably know that I bought this Chanel about four to five years ago. It's been worn consistently. Oh, I thought I saw a mark on it. No, there isn't. It's, it's um, chocolate. <laughs> it's worn consistently. It is beautiful and has just remained with the most perfect shape. It looks fabulous, I love it. And I'll probably do a, a bag collection if you guys wanna see that. Leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. But for me, these are really, really, really worth it. And how I started was buying one bag a year. So I got my bags as a treat. So if it's been the last five years that I've been buying bags, then I obviously have a larger collection. But I didn't go ham, I didn't go crazy. Like I've seen people with new like bags every single month, like what? My pocket cannot keep up the trend let me buy a bag a year and a few years i did two a year because i got excited but patricia sit down it's okay but i will say that there are high street bags that i love and for me i picked up this bag from mango a high street bag that has been game changing it's made of a really nice leather it's very very similar to my louis vuitton Neverfull. like what's the difference obviously this has got the um the monogram pattern on it is very much Louis Vuitton, but I'll be honest with you, I can't wear this with everything. I look wild, like how can you be wearing like a yellow suit? This, like no, it can't be done. But with a black bag, it can be done. And everyone has to have that crappy bag that they walk around with every day, or the bag that you put everything and the kitchen sink in. 
this is this bag for me this bag is the one that does that but you know you don't want to put your trash inside this bag as a millionaire i do like a designer bag i buy one maximum to a year but a high chic bag that is good quality can fit all the goodies that i need in it and won't have a handle snapping is also worth my investment as well okay i wanted to talk about shoes real quickly because uh, uh, shoes are shoes are a hard one i used to buy shoes that were a little bit cheaper a little bit more uncomfortable but also the shoe would be talking in a few months and when i say talking you know when the front bit separates from the sole and the shoe goes hi hi i used to have quite a lot of shoes that would do that so for me yes buying a nice pair of higher end shoes is fine but not every high-end shoe is made the same because i'll tell you right now red bottom louboutins are okay for like a season but they do not have that sustainability factor at all some of these shoes are completely and utterly unwearable most of the louboutins that i have besides this pair actually are for are just for show only because walking two steps it's like walking on broken glass you're like oh 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 like it's not even a joke and so i found that i don't wear them very much but i will tell you now these ones are okay but some of my other ones the back completely separates and tears up if you get caught in a drain unless you can walk on water like rihanna it's a mess the heel is gone things are falling off you can't easily get them replaced or fixed a lot of cobblers won't actually fix them for you and it's a bit of a mess so these aren't necessarily worth the investment but will i say that as a millionaire i love a good black pump the answer is yes now i'd go find something for like a gorgeous aquazora like this these are actually new yeah a new purchase and i'm like yes 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 worth it worth it because of how much they can be worn with a jean with a dress for a day at work you wouldn't wear them all day at work let me not lie but for an evening or for a daytime look these are universal and for me i want to buy clothing or accessories that i can wear all the time i'm not gonna buy one-off items because i've got a little bit of money and be like oh this has only been worn once or this item's in the box still i never understood people who do that like they buy items and leave them in the box like people who are sneakheads do that a lot they like buy them and put them on display but people might say the same thing about my makeup lovers so yeah let me not judge next up i wanted to talk about actually accessories and jewelry so have i made the mistake of buying say um what i call costume jewelry from designers such as like a dior or a louis vuitton yes i have these that i have in now love them they're great fantastic they're a dior earring right however i've lost them in the past number one and number two for what you're getting from a material perspective is probably not as worth it as just buying some actual like larger gold earrings or actual diamond studs and i know this sounds really crazy but like say if someone buys pays 500 pounds for like um actually gold plated fake pearls <laughs> that say dior on them versus real pearl earrings which are made of uh, like 18 or 24 karat gold um what's more valuable and you realize that actually when it comes to a resale perspective the real gold and the real pearl is more valuable but yeah i realized for me that i don't need to buy branded um jewelry at all instead i can go for like super high quality super nice super well made super cool designed jewelry and accessories that are on uh from high street brands not the stuff that you get for like 20 pounds from from top shop no 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 that stuff will change color you can't wear it in the bath but for instance i've got my stuff my jewelry and stuff from misoma you guys saw me maybe with those like last christmas um or christmas just gone i love it so 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 much i wear them all the time i shop on their sponsored or unsponsored and i feel like i've built like a bit of a, a jewelry collection that i really really like i realized that the name is not everything and the weight of the gold or the weight of the silver and the style is far more important and i'd rather get more items for my buck next up is the little black dress pale little black dress it's all in the construction babes all in the construction the way it's put together girl 
is gonna get you together. Um, again, your girl cannot fit in this dress right now. She is a little heavier than she was, but she, she, she fit back into this dress. But for me, I feel like you can get a little black dress from anywhere and everywhere. Don't go for the cheapy, stretchy jersey dress because it's gonna look cheap and it's gonna look trashy anyway. You can go for a little black dress from anywhere but what is the most important thing is not the price it's not the label it's not the designer name that's on it it's the fit it's the construction of the dress a what and there are so many high street brands that i found like kind of kill it when it comes to how it fits on my body i love 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 lavish alice i feel like they make great stuff when it comes to weddings and um, special occasions i feel like they've got the most perfect little black dresses on there house of cb they're not even doing too bad they've got great little black dresses and yes they can have the party wear and the body cut and all that stuff but they've got other items that i've got ridiculously amazing fitting construction. So now for me, when it goes to finding the perfect dress for a night out or for events, I'm looking at construction. I'm not looking at price. I'm not looking at name. I'm thinking, how is this going to contour my body to the guards, to the guards? Because creating shape and sucking and supporting me as a woman is important. And as a dress, you need to support me through the thick and the thin. As a millionaire, white sneakers. And I'm telling you, a pair of air forces are fine and dandy. They can be a real air force, they can be a fake air force, it's fine. You can basically find a white sneaker almost in any any brand really. These are, eight, oh no, these are Topshop, but ASOS has them. And the main thing you wanna look for is comfort and, and durability. You don't want it to start looking broken down after one wear. These are an essential I find for like every everyday look that I have and they make me look just super cool and super casual, straight, straight away. But again, they could be Air Forces, they could be McQueen, or they could be Topshop or ASOS. It doesn't matter, I don't care as a millionaire. When it comes to jeans, and actually I think I'm gonna do a video like trying on all my different pairs of jeans, I can tell you right now that I've bought expensive jeans that do zero, and I have bought Amazon jeans from Amazon that I rewear all the time because they are life changing and booty lifting. Again, similar to the black dress, um, jeans are all about the fit. Like for me, getting the perfect fit of jeans, it takes a little bit of work, you know, but I kind of now know what works for my body shape and my body type. And that's something that I look for in anything that I buy. It has to work for me as an individual versus being something that's super trendy and what everybody else is wearing. I avoid that like the plague, it don't work. I don't need to wear good American if my Amazon is doing very well for me. I got so carried away in this video that my bow came undone. Let's not be uncouth and let us um put the pussy bow back in place, darlings. And yeah, that is it for me, guys. That is some of the clothing and stuff that I have as a millionaire. It's not about the price, it's not about the number, it's actually more about the fit and if it suits you and if it's something that you like and if it's higher quality. It's about how you wear it and if it's right for you, okay? All right, guys, thank you for watching. And in the meantime, I'll catch you all later. Bye.